10 o'clock a.m. from today's TMJ4. I'm Vince Petrano alongside Charles Benson with breaking news. Milwaukee will host the Democratic National Convention in 2020. Charles, you just got that confirmed. Uh, multiple sources have been reporting it. You have it confirmed. Just it. talked to a DNC source now confirming what everyone has been waiting for to see where the DNC would hold its 2020 convention. Milwaukee will be the site and this will be in July of 2020. The dates are July 13th through the 16th. There had been much speculation that Milwaukee was the odds on favorite. Um, I'm, I'm told that Tom Perez, who is the DNC chair, is either on his way to Milwaukee or will uh, and will be in Milwaukee today for a three o'clock news conference where we will get more of the particulars. Uh, all along here, the competition had been Milwaukee with Miami Beach as well as Houston. The concern had come in the last couple of weeks. Did Milwaukee have enough hotel space to close the deal to make it happen? Uh, the other two locations had far more hotel space, but the narrative of Milwaukee and Wisconsin seemed to be pulling in Wisconsin and Milwaukee. Milwaukee's favor here because Wisconsin will be a battleground state and was a state the Democrats were not able to win in 2016. So, so many things now will change the lives of people who live and work in Milwaukee as a result of this convention. You're talking about 50,000 people who will come into our city during this time period. Hundreds of millions of dollars will be spent to try to uh, accommodate all these folks and as they participate in this big event it will be the epicenter of politics for one week as the democrats pick their nominee to take on president donald trump there is so much involved here and with you know you think okay july 2020 events you got a lot of time to plan here. You don't. There's a lot that's going to have to happen between now and July. In fact, regardless of city, Houston, Miami Beach, Charles, both were, and some folks here in Milwaukee were complaining, like, regardless of what you're going to pick, you got to make a decision soon, to your point about uh, what all goes into the planning. Let's talk about what Milwaukee had going in its favor. I was at an event with the mayor the other night, and he was talking about the hotel room issue. Uh, and I think he said the delegation was really trying to make the point uh, to the DNC, like, look, we may not have as many hotel rooms in city of Milwaukee proper as you would like, but if you consider Northern Racine County, Western or Eastern Waukesha County, look at the hotel space that we have on the rims. It's the same as being an hour out of downtown in Houston as well. Haven't been to seven of these conventions. Not everything happens downtown. That is the epicenter. And also I should say that without Pfizer form, this would not have happened. This is the, uh, the place where the event will be held, but also the additional hotel space that we have seen in the city over the last four to five years. But you're right. The DNC was looking for a guarantee of 15,000 rooms, and they did want a majority of those rooms in the downtown area. And here's why. Because when these states come in, they stay in these hotels and they hold big events in the morning. So they don't want it really spread out, right. but they want it to be as close to the city as Milwaukee or what is a 20 mile or 20 minute ride into the city. Having been to Cleveland in 2016, Sandusky, if you know where that is compared to Cleveland, that's about an hour away. All right, so they, these events do have folks that are spread out throughout the city. But you're right, from Kenosha up to Sheboygan, hotels will be packed. For the DNC delegates, though, they want them downtown and as close as possible to the uh, the Pfizer Forum. It was the Republicans in Cleveland, wasn't it? It, it was, was the, the Republicans, Republicans yeah, and, Philadelphia, and Philadelphia was the Democrats. Right, Mayor Tom Barrett had also made the point that outside of Chicago, according to his uh, calculations, mil uh, the Midwest had not hosted the convention for the Democrats since like the early part of the last century. Right, so this is gonna be a big part of the narrative as they go forward here. Wisconsin has landed this prize opportunity and a lot of work remains between now and then, including raising the funds, 50 to $60 million to put on this event and then also to get the city ready. One of the things that if you live and work in the downtown area, you're gonna find out that this is one, going to be a great opportunity, but also a great uh, change in how things will happen in the weeks leading up be to challenge. because challenge is probably the best right. word because it, it creates an enormous security zone that they put around this footprint around Pfizer form because you're dealing with a lot of security issues. I want to get to our Sean Gallagher. Sean was covering uh, Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett's State of the City address at Pfizer Forum this morning. The point was made many times 
uh, that it was the site that would be the epicenter of this 2020 convention if we were to get it. Uh, Sean, can you hear me you on the phone with us? Yeah, Vince, I got you. All right, um, so I you... actually just got done speaking with uh, Mayor Barrett. He uh, actually got delayed a bit after the uh, the speech here. He uh, did a little bit of uh, photo session with people that were around. And we were told he would come to us in about five minutes or so. About five, ten minutes past, I saw he got whisked away by uh, Jody Sabak, uh, his uh, secretary uh, there, and he was on the phone. It clearly seems like he was being told that info that uh, we did, in fact, get uh, the DNC here. So he came back grinning ear to ear, but said he wouldn't talk about the DNC. He wanted to talk about the state of the city, said that he would clearly see us later today. But he did say this is not fake news. He wouldn't go as far as say, yes, Milwaukee got the DNC, but... That is as clear as day, if you ask me. And he did say that uh, if if this is true, which obviously we do know it is true, that he would be absolutely ecstatic, guys. Well, there's a lot riding on it uh, for the city of Milwaukee. Obviously, Sean, you have been talking to the mayor periodically about this. Um, and he felt that Pfizer Forum was a big reason that Milwaukee would be able to pull this. I know the mayor also made a play for the weather as we compared it to the other cities that were in the running. I mean, there's not a better time to be in Milwaukee than in summer. So uh, your thoughts, Sean, on having covered this for the last several weeks in the run up on uh, what the mayor would think was what ultimately put the city over the top. So as far as today's state of the city address, obviously he hit some very good points that the city of Milwaukee would care about safety, things with uh, trying to get the youth involved in the future. But this really ultimately felt like it was a big audition for the DNC to see what it's like to have a stage set up inside Pfizer Forum with the Bucks floor, the brand new floor that was built here in Milwaukee, kind of right there behind them as a great backdrop. The thousands of seats that are here, everybody able to see and really see if they themselves could pull this off for, on a small fashion. And definitely today, a great day to actually have this little mini audition with the news that came out just an hour or so after he started his state of the city. And again, Mayor Barrett grinning ear to ear, just ecstatic at the thought of Milwaukee hosting the DNC, especially now that we have this beautiful facility at Pfizer Forum. And Sean, there's a reason why the mayor should be excited. He had put a lot of work in this. This was a heavy lift. Yeah. He was working the phone. He had to line up investors. There was this line of credit that needed to be established before you could sign the contracts to land the, the, uh, the DNC. And so there was a lot of work here done by the mayor and his folks to get people in position to say, the city is not only ready for this, they can pull this off. That was the biggest sell they had to make. We've never done anything to this size. Yes, we've had the Harley Davidson uh, sure. the reunions that happened, but when you have this many people and this type of focus on the biggest political event that happens in the country, one on the Democratic side, the other on the Republican side, and for them and for the city of Milwaukee to win this, this is a big event and a big win for the mayor. Having said that, everyone involved in this project knows there's an enormous amount of work left to be done between now and 2020 to make sure the city is ready.